Hello dear students, welcome back to Santec Byte Learn Easy. Are you all tensed and worried how to score 70 on 70 in your computer science exam? Well, I'm here to help you to score 70 on 70. Just follow the tips without skipping the video. Watch the full video for your good result. So 70 marks theory paper is divided into part A, part B, part C, D and E. Part A is for 1 marks, you will have 20 questions, out of which you have 15 MCQs and 5 fill in the blanks. Now quickly take a notebook and pen to note down the important points. Starting from part E, which is for 5 marks, you will have 3 questions out of which you have to attend any 2. Question number 42 is KMAP. In KMAP, you have 2 variants. One is POS form, which stands for product of sum form. Second one is SOP form, which stands for sum of product form. In past years, they have asked SOP form repeatedly in all the exams. So you can concentrate more on SOP form. Coming to question number 43, you have to write the program using the given class name, declare the data members and define the member functions either inside, inside the class or outside the class as mentioned or given in the question. So here you have to learn the structure of writing the program, how to create your class, how to define, the, uh, define and declare the data members, member functions and so on. Coming to question number 44, you will be asked to write 5 SQL commands based on the given table and each command carries 1 mark. For 5 mark questions, it is completely application oriented. So they will give you 3 questions out of which you have to answer any 2. Either get thorough with KMAP and SQL or KMAP and class program. So whichever 2 question is easy for you, you can prepare only for those 2 questions instead of preparing for 3 questions. Coming to part D, again this is of 5 mark questions, you will have 7 questions out of which you have to answer any 4 questions only and question number starts from 35 goes up to 41. So here you can concentrate only on any of the 4 lessons which I will be mentioning or listing out now. So question number 35 and 36 will be picked from the chapter data structures. Question number 37 from the chapter oops that is basic concepts of object oriented programming and 38th question will be picked from the chapter function overloading. Question number 39 will be from constructors. Question number 40 will be from the chapter inheritance. Question number 41 will be from the chapter networking concepts. So out of these six lessons, you can concentrate on any of the four lessons only. Coming to part C. Part C is of three mark questions. Again, in this, you will have seven questions from seven different chapters out of which you have to answer any four only. So the question number starts from 28 goes up to 34. Question number 28, you will get one question from first chapter that is typical configuration of computer system. Question number 29th, you will get only one question from the chapter data structures. Question number 30, you will get question from the chapter pointers. Question number 31 will be from data file handling. Question number 32, you will get one question from database concepts. And question number 33, you will get any question based on e-commerce. And question number 34, you will get any question based on HTML that is from web designing. Okay, so again part C, it is for three marks out of seven different lessons, you can concentrate on any four chapters only. Coming to the next main that is part B. In part B, you will have again seven questions and you have to answer any four out of seven. Each question carries two marks. So question number goes from 21 up to 27. So 21 question, that is 21st question, you will get any one proof. Either prove by a perfect induction method or prove that uh, LHS is equal to RHS or you have to prove any one of the law by using any uh, uh, any method they can ask. Okay, so you will have any one proof. Number 22, you will get any question from logic gates. Question number 23, you will get from the chapter constructors and destructors. Question number 24, data file handling. Question number 25, database concepts. Question number 26 and 27, you will have two questions from the chapter structured query language that is SQL. Okay, so question number 26 and 27 will be picked from the chapter SQL. So they can either ask you the difference between drop and delete or difference between alter and update. They can ask you to write the syntax and example of any DDL command, DCL command and so on. Okay, they can ask questions in any kind they want. So this is how your question paper will be prepared for 50 marks. Okay, so remaining 20 marks is of 15 MCQs and 5 fill in the blanks. Again, your 
five fill in the blanks will be completely from only one chapter that is database concepts okay so from the chapter database concepts they will be asking you five fill in the blanks and 15 mcqs will go like this so first mcq will be asked from chapter one second mcq from chapter two third mcq from logic gates so they can give you any gate and ask you the output or they can give you the gate and ask you to recognize which gate is that so question depends okay sorry question number four will be asked from chapter four that is data structures question number five will be from chapter seven that is uh, based on the program they will give you the small snippet that is small one part of the program and will ask you to find the error in that program okay so question number five is to find error in the given program question number six will be from chapter eight function overloading and question number seven will be from chapter 9 that is constructors and destructors question number 8 will be from the 10th chapter that is inheritance and question number 9 will be from chapter 11 pointers question number 10 will be from chapter 13 database concepts Ch uh, question number 11 will be from chapter 14 that is sql question number 12 will be from chapter 15 question number 13 will be from chapter 15 so here question number 12 and 13 will be from the same chapter that is networking concepts okay question number 14 will be from chapter 16 that is internet and open Open source question number 15th the last mcq will be from the last chapter that is web designing okay so they can ask you the simple question or also the tricky question so just get thorough with all these chapters for your good result okay so all the best dear students if you have any doubts in any of the concepts you can comment below so that i can revise on that never forget to subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon to receive the notification thank you